What's going on guys, it's the Fox then. In today's tutorial I will be showing you how to install large files over uh, USB. First things first, you want to go ahead and download my pack. And you're going to extract the archive. Then it'll extract it. Then you need to go into here. Okay, very important. We have to install this application. We're going to run this as an administrator, okay? So right click, run as administrator. Now if you're not sure, a jar is a custom file so it can use Java. This is so we're able to install the uh, large files over 4 gigabytes without a problem, without splitting anything or doing any customization. So we're going to go ahead and press install. I'll be back when that's doing that. So just in case you're wondering, by us using this uh, special application, uh, the NS USB loader, you don't have to worry about being a FAT32 user and worrying about hitting that 4 gigabyte threshold. You can just drag and drop your big files onto the application and go ahead and run the AWUL and then you can install the applications via USB Type-C cable through your computer. Please make sure that you have a data cable. If you do not have a data cable, um, you're not going to be able to install your files. So it looks like that's installed. I'm going to go ahead and run the jar file. You should just be able to double click on it. Okay, then we're going to run it in this. Okay, as you can see the application is installed. Right now um, the system is doing something. So I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll show you how to add the uh, files to your queue to get this all set ready to go okay okay from here let's go back to the application okay now that we're back in the application what you need to do is you need to go to settings and you want to make sure your settings look like mine check this make sure that's checked then you want to go in the top right hand corner it says download and install drivers <laughs> make sure you're connected to the internet and it's going to do its thing. As you can see, it installed the drivers. Okay, that's done. Now you can go to this button right there. Okay, for us to install the large file that's over 4 gigabytes for a FAT32 user or if you're an XFAT user, you can go ahead and follow the same method. I can't do the video capture and install the file at the same time so you're gonna have to follow along with what I'm doing here um, go over a previously installed title so what you want to do is you want to go over a previously installed title perform a title override on the right hand side you want to hold down the right trigger press A while you're holding down the right trigger press A one more time to perform a title override this will give us the full RAM mode it will no longer say applet mode in the middle of the screen then from here you can choose what you want to choose. I'm going to use the Owl installer. So what we're going to do is open up the Owl installer. Then you want to press install over USB. Okay, so make sure you choose that. Then um, what you're going to do is you're going to press A on here. It says no USB connected. And we're going to connect to USB cable and see if it recognizes it in the program. Okay, so I plugged in the USB cable and still said I couldn't recognize, so I just pressed the back button and I pressed it again. Now it says USB connection successfully, waiting for the list of files to be sent over. It's showing the handheld on the left hand side and it's also showing a computer on the right hand side. So now we can drag and drop our files. So I'm going to do this. Okay, bear with me, I'm going to do it now. Okay, as you can see I have the test file here. This is just a small file, doesn't matter what size. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the right, I'm sorry, left hand side. You're going to make sure it says this. Then you're going to make sure it says USB, okay? Now if you're having, um, yeah, so make sure it says that, then USB, okay? Don't worry about the mismatching names in the application, it will be fine. So you want to take this and we're going to drag it over here. We're going to press move, okay and you want to press upload to NS right here 
as you can see on the bottom right hand side of the screen at the bottom it's showing like a blue and red thing going back and forth back and forth that means it's connected do not disconnect anything I repeat do not disconnect anything now we're gonna go back on the handheld now it's gonna say um, select what files you want to install over USB then press the plus button so I'm gonna use my finger I'm gonna tap on it where it says test NSP then I'm gonna press the, uh, SD I always recommend installing the files over SD instead of internal storage just in case you get some type of buggy file or something bad happens then you don't have to worry about your internal NAND getting messed up so go ahead and press SD now it might say invalid NSC so just go ahead and press I understand that's gonna go ahead and install and do its thing okay so it says uh, test.nsp installed then it says I'm sure after you give the blank a try you'll have a blank and a blank and a blank okay so you're just gonna press OK on there then you're gonna press the home button on the um, on the controller and right now it's showing that the applications running now what you can do is since you already installed the application you can just go ahead and remove the uh, cable from the handheld and you'll be all good now I'm gonna I'm gonna run the application and see if it runs okay the application ran fine and I'm sorry guys I couldn't show you the uh, stuff my phone is completely maxed out of storage right now hey what's going on guys thanks for watching the video and tuning in to the Fox Den like and subscribe hit the notification bell and all that other jazz I'll catch you guys later if you have any questions or concerns please drop them in the comment section also the link to the pack to all the files you need is in the uh, comment section and it will be in the show notes slash description whatever that's called where you press a drop down anyway guys I'll catch you next time thanks so much for being here and I enjoy helping you guys out and, and I'll catch you later